Joining me now, Oscar Odom, retired NYPD detective and former first deputy sheriff commissioner. Oscar, uh, great to see you this evening. Earlier in her reporting, Claudia was talking about the thresholds for crime at the moment that basically empowers people like this to coordinate and ransack stores. $950 in the Bay Area. If it's under that, it's a misdemeanor, and that's part of the problem. Oscar? Most. Well Yes, most definitely. The issue is that, you know, I always go back to uh, the old show, Beretta, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Legislation must be passed in order to uh, ensure that people will be punished for these type of acts, but also they must follow through. It can't be that it's like a turnstile that you commit these acts, you go in front of a judge or you don't see a judge, and then you write back out and you do the same thing over and over again. This has a big impact on the businesses. People are losing money in which the economy is trying to recover now. Everybody's doing a cost-benefit analysis, mm. but if the politicians also don't speak up, you will have issues. Right, and I mean, the onus can't be on the employees in the store to try to fight crime here. She mentioned that eight people were detained. 80 people attacked the store, the Nordstrom's, over the weekend. And so you have to say to yourself, you know, there's a point where people are just going to say, take it, take the stuff, take it and go. This is scary. I mean, imagine if you were working there or if you were a shopper there. Oh, most definitely. The thing is, this is like the old saying is that don't cry over anything that can't cry over you. So the merchandise you can't cry over because if it's taken, it's not going to cry over you. However, businesses are losing millions of dollars because of events like this, and the politicians must step up. Mm -hmm. People who cover these areas, cover these districts, must provide legislation and must talk to their constituents about these type of acts that are taking place, and they need to step forward. These people are representing the business owners in those areas, and they need to say something. They need to be held accountable. Oscar, I want to get your thoughts on this. Um, Claudia obviously makes the point that this is happening ahead of Black Friday. You can take these items, you can sell them online. Um, your identity won't necessarily be revealed if you do that, and so that's an incentive, sure. Um, but we weren't seeing crime like this to this degree before the pandemic. We weren't seeing it under President Trump. Obviously, we've had uh, a whole host of, of changes with the new administration, but also, I just think that the violence that we saw across the country in the heat of the pandemic, the height of it, um, with Black Lives Lives Matter and no consequences to crime, that thieves are emboldened. Oh, mo most definitely. And, and one of the things is this is that, you know, they have to uh, look at this and, and get tough on crimes and let the police be police with certain things to make the rest proper police practices. And then once they, uh, the police officers deliver them to the court system, then they need to come up with some sort of solutions in order to punish the people that are committing these type of acts. If they want to put them in a treatment program or ensure that they don't do it again, do it. But do not let them come out like a revolving door to come back right. out there to commit more acts to cause more people, businesses to be injured, lose money, and also people possibly to lose their lives. Well, part of the problem is bail reform. We were talking about that in the previous segment, but it applies here as well. And Kamala Harris, I believe, was making comments about the Rittenhouse verdict, and she said that the criminal justice system, you know, we've worked on it, but we have a long way to go. I'm paraphrasing here. But, um, you know, to me, I would say, yeah, some of the changes that you have made to the criminal justice system are part of the problem, Madam Vice President. Yes, yeah. and, and, and the issue is, as I, as, as I always say, is that you can't arrest people and let them back out with any sort of punishment or retraining or monitoring or anything like that because then they come back out and they do the same thing over again because it's like a slap on the wrist. Something must be done. Put an ankle bracelet on if you feel you can incarcerate so this way you can track them, have them come to a program. You need to do this because if not, it's going to be a revolving door and it's going to be the citizens who are going to suffer. The politicians are not going to suffer because they have personal bodyguards. Yeah. So they have their bodyguards so they're going to be okay. But it's the public that's suffering at the hands of, of these type of activities. They are, and we're suffering here in New York City, too. I bring it up all the time on the show, hoping that Eric Adams will do something about the crime in the city. Um, Oscar, good to see you tonight. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. All right.